wheeling comes in many different forms and a three rod wheel is the one most commonly used in baskets. It's the weave that is used at the start and the end of the side weaving. That is, when you first bend up your uprights, it's the weave that is used for fixing the uprights into position. And it's also used at the end of the side weaving, just before the border. And so in theory, three rods come out of three adjoining spaces and we always work the left hand rod is carried over the top of the other two rods and then behind the third stick and back out always work the left hand rod as in front of one two uprights and in and out behind the third as you can see, this rod is coming from underneath the other two and then it's carried over the top of the other two and out to the space in front. In theory, in your basket, we normally start the three rod wheel with the tips again into three adjoining spaces and hold while we weave the left hand one in front of two uprights behind the third and take them all in turn always weaving the left hand rod. And obviously you turn the basket so that it's facing you the whole time. Especially when the rods get a little slightly thicker, we can adjust our uprights so that they're well spaced. When those three rods are nearly finished, we join another set of three rods, butt to butt. So these are the first three rods finishing with the butts. When you can't go any further, take three new rods. These rods can nearly be as thick as the upright rods, but we pull the first butt back that's the one on the left hand side and then we hold and weave we pull the second butt back and the new butt slips inside and stays on the inside of the basket then we weave it in front of two and behind the third stick and finally the third butt is pulled back. I'm cutting these so it saves me cutting later on. The new butt slips inside and then is woven in sequence and off we go again. And three rod wheel normally finishes with the tips. So we weave to the end. So I hope this video has been useful to you and if you'd like more please subscribe to the Big Green Art YouTube channel.